Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. You know, I was doing a DIY project repairing a fence. When I was done, I had some four by four posts and I thought this is a great opportunity to maybe show the principles of building a Swedish torch. This is something that you could probably do with your scout troop. So basically what we're going to do is take a bit, drill a hole down through and then measure the depth. We'll drill a hole into the side. That'll create our vent. We're gonna cook some dinner on it. Let's go. First thing that we're going to do is drill our main vent hole. I'm holding it with my feet here together. We're gonna to go straight down. So now that we've got the hole drilled in the top, we're gonna to measure our depth and then go in from the side. Now we'll just measure our depth. Bottom of the blade is about here. Just scratch it with my screw. That's where I'm going to drill. Now as you get closer to the hole, that bit's going to grab, so be very gentle as you get close. There we are. So now we've got a clean vent hole in the top and an access hole for the air to go through the side and bring the flame up to the top. Next thing that we need to do is create something that we're going to set our pan on. So I'm going to just use three screws. Okay, it's going to move about the same height and we're good to go. We've created a nice little safe fire area. Make sure that our Swedish torch is going to be stable. One test to make sure we're sitting flat. That's great. Now we're going to add some kindling, start it up and get a flame going. So we'll just add some twigs here. And we'll come in from the side. And today I'm just going to use my lighter. Let's start it up. So when you're done cooking with your Swedish torch, make sure that you remove the screws and then everyone can throw what's left over into the fire for a nice campfire. Okay, we'll let that flame just carry up and start it up. And then as we get flame coming out the top, we will get ready to cook. Now that we've got a flame going, it's time to warm up our pan and get ready to cook. This is a great project that's easy to do at home. Lots to learn and then you can transfer that skill as you get into the out of doors. We hope that you'll try it. And we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.